Hello. 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 Welcome to your ethnic section for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the equal opportunities. <laughs> oh. oh no. Good. Uh, yeah. All right. Fine. Weird start. It's uh, immediately gone more racial than I intended to. But that's, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna start with an apology today. I'm sick at the moment. My voice may go, and it's actually it's totally my fault. I tell you what happened. It, my goddaughter threw up in my mouth, right? Uh, and I swallowed it. Because I'm a fucking gentleman, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she's 15, by the way. That's worse, isn't it? That's, uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. There's two versions of what. I can do tonight, clean or dirty. I'm gonna go with dirty based on that reaction. <laughs> All right, cool. What did you What did you heckle me with, drunk Welsh lady? Because you better than the first guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, I well, who? So I'm not gonna ask. Well, weird. I mean, it's a positive heckle, isn't it? But I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> You're good. You're better than the first one. Who was he good? Yes, that's generally what happens when we're introduced to stage. We do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, here's where I'm at in my life at the moment. I am disgusted with my body, guys. Physically repulsed, but not enough to do shit, but enough to, you know, tell strangers in a room for Nutella money. That's how <laughs> upset I am with this book. Because you guys have only seen what's going on in clothes, and in clothes it's semi-acceptable, but underneath here it's fucking mayhem underneath here. <laughs> All right, there's my skin is all loose. There's random patches of hair. I've, I've got it's, I look like a foreskin. That's what's going on. It is, it is horrible. And I subscribe to that life as well. That foreskin lifestyle, man. I mean, I'm useless, <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> and Jewish girls don't know what to do with me. <laughs> At first. Hey, hey, hey. That's lads, that's not what it means. Anyway, um, it's horrible under here. I've got stretch marks. I didn't know that. Who doesn't? I didn't know that men could get those. I had no. I thought it was one of many women's issues, like the gender pay gap and Harvey Weinstein. I had no idea. I've got deep stretch. Deep. Deep stretch. Deep. deep. I've got stretch marks so deep it looks like I self harm with muffins. It is fucking. It is hot. What do you say? Join the club. I don't think you've got fucking stretch marks. It looks oh, like you. No, no, I do. Oh, you told me the other day. It was like, oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, this is delicious, isn't it? <laughs> 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 All right. Look at your stretch marks. I was like, yeah, another. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was less interesting than I'd hoped. Okay. <laughs> but no, okay, yeah, we're in the club. Do you have stretch marks, my friend? Me? Yeah. No. Join the fucking club, mate. <laughs> We're like tigers in the grass. It's quality. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've got, I've got straight. Like, it's fucking. And do you know what? I have a nightly ritual that I'll do with my girlfriend. Right, every night I'll stand in front of my mirror naked and I'll hate my body. I'll go, look at it. It's disgusting. It's fucking horrible. And my girlfriend will be on the bed. She'll look at my body and she'll go, it's fine. <laughs> that is not the sentence I want to hear when I'm hating. Do you know why I don't like it? Because she gives me the high fine. You don't want the high fine. You want the low fine, which means that everything. You want the you're fine. But she doesn't do she goes, you're fine. That is exactly, you don't want that. If I went to a doctor and I went, doc, am I going to make it? And my man goes, you're fine. I'm going to go. <laughs> That's it, it's over. No, no, I think I want to escape, man. I'm trying to, I just, I think everyone wants to escape generally. That's why so many different things exist to get you out. That's why there are books, films. That's why porn's there for escapism. Alcohol, yeah, that's another one. <laughs> but no, that's why, that's why porn's there, because people want to escape. And a lot of people don't like porn. They say it promotes an unrealistic ideal of what sex is. But I think that porn has done some good stuff. For example, that's how a whole generation learned to spell amateur. <laughs> <laughs> that one tells me who the perverts are right now. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, you know, in Toy Story, right? I know this is a really oh, weird... <laughs> All right, I might ruin it. I may make it better. Let's see. <laughs> you know in Toy Story how all the toys are alive? They all have an opinion and everything, yeah? What about the sex toys? <laughs> you ever thought about that? Woody and Woody, probably. <laughs> you thought about that conversation at the end of the day? How was your day today, Woody? Oh, there was a snake in my boots. I really loved it. How was yours? I was rammed in and out of an arse aggressively for an hour. How about that? There's a whole new meaning to the song, You've Got a Friend in Me, as well, doesn't it? <laughs> That's why he's called Buzz. That's why, all right? It's, uh, 
Oh, uh, you're not going to watch Toy Story no more. Good. Well, in more ways than one. You acted like I fucked it myself. Like, that's not. I haven't. I can't fuck Disney. That's it's a weird thing to say. Anyway, um, I'm in a serious relationship now, and I love it. Because right, my girl, thank you very much, Disney lover. Uh, that, that's a very patronising clap that you've got for there. Um, thank you. Yeah, I'm in a serious relationship, and I know that because she told me. And what I what I love is the being in a serious relationship. My girl finds everything I say hilarious, which is beautiful. Right? I right, don't find that too fucking funny. Down here. All right, robotics. Fucking Terminator is coming round right now. You're gonna ruin the world for us. You're there going, oh yeah, she finds you funny. Oh, don't, <laughs> dickhead. All right, mate. Usually you want to laugh, but not that kind of laugh. That was the wrong kind of laugh. I want the black lady in church laugh where they lose their shit. Go, Aah! But you gave me the one where you went, I'm gonna wait until nobody's laughing. Ha ha. Okay, that's it. That was. <laughs> No, she does. She finds everything I say hilarious. It is beautiful, except for during sex. That's when it's or You make a woman laugh during sex, their vagina will cough out a dick like a missile, man. It is. It is. It's like a body defense system, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He's too funny. He'll never get a real job. Get him out. <laughs> It is. I love annoying her. That's the phase of relationship we're in. My favourite way to piss her off is when she's not paying attention. I just lean over, just flick underneath her titty. It's the funniest shit in the world. It's, got... it's so much fun. It's so much... And she likes to get back at me by faking pregnancy. Not as fun. <laughs> it's not, man. It's very weird. We're having the kid conversation right now, which is lovely, but it's a conversation that I've never had. And I've found a flaw because we're in a mixed relationship, right? I'm half Trinidadian, half Irish. My girl, half Greek, half Iranian. That means that in the future, our kids could be arrested for fucking everything. <laughs> Knife crime, public drunkenness, economic instability, bomb making. That's just the Irish side, there's way more. <laughs> Ooh, you took that better than Dublin. Well done, guys. <laughs> There's one thing about her that annoys me. Right? One thing that annoys me, and it's a little thing, but it does piss me off, which is that she believes in ghosts, right? Anyone in here believe in ghosts? No. Well, thank you. You took a chart before, the, <laughs> before this kicked off. Go, anyone believe in ghosts? Good, get the fuck inside. That's cool. <laughs> no, if you do believe in ghosts, that's fine. I'm not going to castigate you for being wrong. You can have your own opinion. I don't mind. <laughs> I personally don't believe in ghosts, right? The reason why, there are no ethnic ghosts. <laughs> there are none, they're always old white people. Maybe a Japanese kid that fell down a well one time, that's it. That's it, there's no diversity in the afterlife, man. Like, we should kill Lenny Henry, get him to sort this out right now. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe there are ethnic ghosts and they're just not getting a chance to scare. That might be it. Maybe there's a system in place where only the elite ghosts can rise to the top. Kind of like real life, let's be honest, guys. That's why you've never heard a ghost of an accident, innit? You ever heard a Cockney ghost? <laughs> Boo, you cunt. You've never heard that, have you? <laughs> never, it's bullshit, man. It's crap. Like, I think I deserve an afterlife. I think that's fair. I think that's what I'm this close to starting a hashtag about it, Angel. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, innit? Black ghosts matter. That's why I'm going to start. <laughs> But then I know someone will get upset and go, actually, all ghosts matter. <laughs> That's one of my favourites, that one, because it can split a room. I was sending that in Norway about four months ago. Any Norwegians in? <laughs> You're fucking animals, you lot, all right? <laughs> uh, which part of Norway are you from? The East Park, South, that's South very East. specific, yeah. thank you. <laughs> that tells us where, where, Natalie Stavanger? Close to us, though. Close to Oslo, good, that's the only place anyone knows, well done, thank you. <laughs> and you've got a beautiful country, Norwegians, you're beautiful people, except for you, but everyone else, uh, <laughs> there was no need, that was harsh, I can't even see him, it's a dark room, but no, you're beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful people, I think Norway is the whitest place I've ever been. I've got to be honest. It is super white. Like, I didn't know if it was snowing or white people were lying down. I had no idea. And I told this joke in Norway, right, in a place called Stavanger, a little bit country. And there was a guy in the front row sitting about where you're sitting. He had a leather jacket on, muscles on his ears, right? And I don't know if it's a Viking thing or what, but my man was making this sound instead of laughing. He was going, eh, eh, eh. And that noise told me, I don't think he's going to like the ethnic ghost joke, man, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I tried it anyway, I told it, and after the joke, he leant forward, he goes, I have a problem with the ethnic ghost's joke. 
<laughs> and I went, okay, uh, what's your problem? And calmly he goes, you can't see them at night. <laughs> <laughs> Pissed me off right away. <laughs> and I thought, I can't let him get away with this, man. I've got to call him. So I went, OK, mate, um, do you know any black people? He went, yeah. I went, can you see them at night? He thought about it. <laughs> he went, yeah. I went, well, same concept then, dickhead. <laughs> goes to Africa at night goes, oh my God, there's no one here? Who are you? <laughs> Thanks, Norway. <laughs> now, I love doing this. This is my job now. I get to go to exotic locations. It's quality. I get to make people laugh. If you've laughed at me tonight, well done. You're right. If you haven't enjoyed me, you're wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> that's how you do a Brexit. I'm cool with it. <laughs> Um, I, I love doing it because I used to do a job where I could never make people laugh. I used to work in a morgue in a funeral bar. Oh, sure. oh, yeah, they're a tough audience, man. <laughs> uh, what no one told me before I first started working there is that sometimes air can get released from the body in strange ways, right? I didn't... Yeah, uh, do you work in a morgue? No, you're just a serial killer, that's fine. <laughs> That's why you watch so much Disney. Oh, you study forensics. Okay, so yeah, they can make weird sounds, innit? No one told me that on my first day. So my first time, I'm there, I'm washing this gentleman. Right, and he's on a table, by the way. We're not in a bath to get anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we're not allowed to do that anymore. They don't like it. I'm washing this guy. I push down his stomach. His jaw opens. He goes, ah! So you're scared you just got? Yeah, imagine that in 3D, my G. You've got no idea. How's a hammock? So when he went out, I just, I fucking panicked, just like, punched him in the face. <laughs> and then I was like, well, shut up, blood. I was scared. Now, boss was over here. He did not know what to do. Like, he, was, he was reacting to me the same way black people react to street magic. He couldn't fucking handle it. Before I left, I tied the dead body's shoelaces together, just in case. <laughs> so if there is a zombie apocalypse, it's gonna be fucking quality, you know? innit? <laughs> right, I've got to go now. You guys have been nice, huh? about myself. So my name is Archie Maddox. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram under the name Archie Maddox. I'm trying to make it to 90,000 followers. All right? Let me feel free to whoop that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's 90,000 Good, because I've got 900, so fuck <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have been amazing. See you all later. Take it easy. Bye.